Welcome back or welcome to my channel. The winter season is almost upon us and today I am sharing some cute and cozy winter watercolour sock illustrations that are easy and fun to create. As I'm using watercolours, I'm going to need paint brushes. These are size 6 and 0 synthetic brushes, some clean water and some paper towels. I had some scrap pieces of cold press watercolour paper that I have ripped into four pretty even squares and then sketched out four different pattern sock designs. I've decided I want to create two frosty blue toned socks and then in contrast some in rich warm tones. And the paints that I'm using today are mostly from Daniel Smith. There is a list of all the materials that I'm using in this video in the description below. Starting with the frosty tones, I start mixing up some bright blues and greys and then mixing up a swatch on some scrap paper till I'm happy with my colour palette. For the first illustration, I've chosen to warm up with a simple spotty design for my sock. Before I put any paint to paper, I erase as much of the pencil lines as I can, otherwise they will show through. I am using a wet on dry technique, making sure to dab any excess water and paint onto the kitchen paper towel before adding to the watercolour paper. And then with the larger paintbrush, I'm laying down my first wash, whilst leaving some circular blank spaces for the white dots. So now I'm going to paint the toes and the heels on the tops of the socks with some Payne's Grey, making a really nice contrast against the blue. Once the first layer is pretty much dry, I start adding another layer anywhere I think it needs to be a little bit more vibrant. And then once that layer of paint is dry, I get my white Signo gel pen and then I add some little designs to finish the sock off. With our first one finished, we go on to the second blue one. Now for this one, I wanted to go a little bit more intricate with the design, but still keeping it nice and simple. I'm going to use exactly the same colour palette that I used on the previous sock. Just to be a little bit different with this sock, I wanted to add some pom-poms, just because I think it would look really cute. So I was going to add some dark spots to the stripes, but I didn't like how uncircular the dots actually turned out. So to rectify that, I just got a wet paintbrush and blended them in. Mm. 
And once again, I'm just going to build up the layers of paint where I'd like the colours to be the most vibrant. So the second sock is almost finished. Um, I'm just gonna finish it off and make it look a little bit more polished with the white gel pen by adding these little details that I just think makes it look so much better. So this is the third and final design. I did actually originally do four, but um, I lost a lot of the footage. Um, but you'll see that design at the very end of the video. And it's unfortunate because I think that one was actually my favorite. For this cute little sock, I am using warmer tones. The colour palette that I chose was inspired by the traditional red and greens that you see a lot around Christmas. But instead of your bright red and greens, I wanted to go for something a bit more muted. Whilst we're on the subject of reds, the one that I ended up using, um, I mixed up and it looked orange, but I really liked on the swatch how it looked against the green and the cream, so I decided to go with it. So I wanted to add a little leafy motif at the top of the sock. Uh, later on, I don't know if I got this on video or not, but I add some berries and it ends up looking a little bit like mistletoe, which I thought looked really cute and, you know, appropriate seeing as we're coming up to Christmas soon. And here's that red, or should I say orange, that I was on about earlier. With all the painting finished, we are done. Let me know in the comments section which one is your favourite. I think for me personally, it's the one that didn't make it to camera and the one on the bottom left. I think they all turned out pretty cute and they were really fun to create. This little project is a good way of using up some scrap bits of watercolour paper that you have laying around and also brushing up on your watercolour techniques. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then don't forget to give it a like. If you would like to support my channel and my art, then please hit the subscribe button and notification bell. As we've got to that time of year, there'll be lots of Christmassy related content being added over the next few weeks. Anyway, thank you so much. Take care and hopefully see you soon. Bye.